Today I'm going to show you how you can quickly and easily load weather forecast data for any worldwide location into Microsoft Power BI for further analysis. I'll start by navigating to the Visual Crossing Weather Data download page and logging into my Visual Crossing Weather account. If you don't already have an account, you can get one by clicking on the orange button on the right hand side of the page. Signing up for a free trial account will give you instant access to a full 15 day weather forecast for any location. For this video, I'll select the option to manually enter the location for which I am seeking the forecast. However, I could instead load in a sheet of addresses or paste in a list of locations as plain text. However, instead of manually typing in address, I'll tell the system to use my current location by clicking on the Populate from Your Location link. I'll also give the location a friendly name for my own reference in the output data. For the weather query type, I'll choose the default option which will give me a full 15 day weather forecast. In this panel, you can see other options also such as historical data, weather summary reports, and hourly data. These are among the many options covered in our other videos and tutorials. Now when I run the weather query, I'll initially be shown the weather calendar view. I can change to the grid view to see more details, or I could download this data as a CSV file. However, instead I'll switch to the API view and copy the query URL. I can now use this URL to load the query result data directly into Power BI. To demonstrate how to do that, I'll switch to the Power BI interface. I can easily load the forecast data by selecting the Get Data menu and then selecting the option to load data from the web. In the URL box, I'll paste the Visual Crossing Weather URL and then click OK to submit the query. Power BI will now load the weather data into a preview window. You can see that our forecast query returned many weather metrics including temperature, precipitation, and wind speed. These metrics are reported for every day during the 15-day forecast period. When I click on the Load button now, Power BI will process the data and make it available for my weather analysis. To wrap up this demonstration, let's make a graph of minimum and maximum temperature across the forecast period. This will show the daily temperature ranges that I can expect during the coming two weeks. I'll first drop in a line graph and put the date field on the axis. Then I'll select the minimum and maximum temperature fields and put them into the values. Since temperatures in a graph are best represented by averages, I'll change the aggregation type for each temperature field to be an average. I'll also change the date on the axis to only show the forecast day. I can now see a simple visual representation of the daily temperature range for each of the next 15 days. Of course, we have only touched the surface for how weather forecast data can be used in Power BI. Once you have the data loaded, you can begin to correlate weather with your existing business data and analysis to gain new and valuable insights. If you would like to learn more about using other Visual Crossing weather options, such as weather history data, loading multiple locations, and using weather data within other analysis tools, please see our other videos and tutorials. Thank you for watching.